Hello everyone, welcome to Reverend Mary YouTube channel. I would like to go to the Lord in prayer before I share the words received since Thursday, January the 5th, 2017. And today is Monday, January the 9th, 2017. Father God, we thank you for the words and we thank you, Father, for the time that you have given for repentance and to be right with you, God, for things that are about to occur upon the face of the earth. And Father, through your Holy Spirit, just speak this morning and or today, whatever time it is for whoever's listening, Father. Speak to their hearts, Father. Open their spiritual ears, Father, and their eyes to see and to be aware of things that are coming. And Father, I just bind the spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus, because we know that you are not a, a God of confusion, and you also, Lord, are a God of love and of sound mind and peace. So I just speak that to every hearer of the word. And Father, I just pray blessings over your children. And Father, I just ask you to remind them uh, that they are protected under your mighty wing until they see your Lord coming in the clouds. And Father, I just pray for the sinner right now if they're listening to this video. Sinner, please be warned that Jesus Christ exists and that he is truly coming and it is very soon. So just pray for your soul that you would repent before it's too late. I pray that you cry out and call out to Jesus, the Almighty, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And Father, I just pray that you show mercy in areas, Father, for the loved ones that are still unsaved that once called upon your name, but they did not come to true repentance and they're not found worthy to escape the things that are coming. Father, I pray your mercy through the loved ones that are saved, that have prayed for their lost loved ones. I pray your mercy, Father, because I know that your word says that to have known about you and to turn away is worse than to never have believed. So, Father, I just pray. And Father, I just thank you and I, I ask you, Holy Spirit, to speak during this time as I share your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. On Thursday, January the 5th, 2017, the Holy Spirit said, There is nothing you can do to stop what, soon, what will soon occur. How foolish one is to place trust in what you alone are able to do. Have you sold out to the things of this world? What will you do when things are in a twirl, a whirlwind of turbulence you'll see, you'll soon see? It all comes to be. Pray unto your Father and risen King. So foolish to have put your trust in stock, in government, and jobs. I must be the only one you solely and solemnly trust. All will go bust. Too many that lust after the things of this world. Be sheltered and comforted in me. Look to me to provide all things. Things are so far unseen, but learn and lean upon me. Lean upon me, my children. Your leader seeks to be king. He will be ruler indeed. Corrupt seed, evil seed indeed. Humbly pray on bent knee for this coming day. What you can do and do it now. I have warned you to prepare for what's to come and do not spare, but share. A time of repentance was granted but soon you'll be left standing and stranded without seeking me, the one true king. Satan will be released. The beast is unleashed. He knows he has but a short time. He is the ultimate deceiver and destroyer. Be ye firmly planted in truth and love, desiring your one true love. Study to learn my truth. It has been given unto you. You are truly living in dark days. Beware of your sinful ways. Repent, sinner, repent. The sacrifice was already sent. Repent. I come in an instant. No more time for repentance. Tribulation will be the sentence. I wish no one to go through this horrible trial, but I love you enough and no things and times will be rough. You will have to be tough. You did not come to repentance soon enough. Pray that your life be spared in the days to come. 
for you will live under a heavy thumb, and ruler, an evil ruler, you'll see. Repent, and none of this has to be. You must come to the Father. There is no, not one other. You must be born of my spirit, coming to full repentance. Repent, I ask of thee. Repent on bended knee. I do plea. You will have to flee the system that is to be. To do otherwise, to go the way of the world and beast is death eternally. You will bow before me. Every knee bows. Every tongue confesses before the mighty king. You must repent and be born again of my spirit. No longer your life to live but mine on earth in your humanly body till I come in the air. Do not despair. My children, you are spared. I have prepared for your coming home. The devil no more to roam and seek and devour you. Be ye ever so faithful and true. Do not look to news. Do not look to others. Only believe and see the coming king. Repent, sinner. Time is running out by the minute. I have pleaded, but will never force my will upon any that refuses to believe. My children, receive the coming salvation of your risen king. You will be risen in me and with me forever. Eternity is to be granted unto you. You are my dear precious children. In you, I am pleased, so very pleased. I'll give you a few scriptures on repentance. Matthew chapter 4, verse 16 and 17. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. Mark 1 verse 15 repent and believe acts 3 and 19 repent so sins are forgiven luke 13 and 3 unless you repent you perish second peter chapter 3 verse 9 the the lord is not slow concerning his promise but is being patient toward you because he does not wish for any to perish but for all to come to repentance Saturday, January the 7th, 2017, 9.45 a.m., a day vision of God in the throne room in heaven. Jesus stands no longer at the right hand of the Father. He is opening the door of heaven. He will descend on the clouds accompanied by many angels to receive his own. And it was just a quick vision. The Lord was standing. Revelation 4 uh, verses 1 through 11, Behold, I saw a door open. Read that. Revelation 4, verses 1 through 11. Revelation all the way, uh, Revelation 1, 1, all the way through Revelation 4 and 11 is things that are right now. After the rapture of the church, it is from verse 11 in chapter 4 all the way to the end of the book. Those are for those who are left behind. The doors of heaven are open in Psalm 78, verse 23. He gave a command. Psalm 110, verses 1 through 5. He will execute judgment. Matthew chapter 5, verses 34 and 35 talk about the throne room in heaven. Isaiah 66, verses 1 and 2. The Lord looks upon he who trembles at God's word. Acts 7, verse 56. Behold, I see the heavens opened up and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. In Daniel chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, coming with clouds. In Acts chapter 2, verse 32 through 36, sits, Jesus sits until his Father says, I make your enemies a footstool. And Saturday, January the 7th at 11 a.m., the closer we get to the inauguration, keep your house in order. Clean as to, pre to prepare for guests. Keep pantry stocked. Plenty of water on hand. Evil plans does wicked man have. Chaos, violence, you'll soon see. As a new leader was promised to be. Pray, my children, pray on bended knee. It is me you'll soon see. And then I looked, I was instructed to look up the things on uh, tsunami preparedness. And you will have to go back and look at other videos on this YouTube channel. And there are other watchmen on the wall and handmaidens. And I am a handmaiden of God. 
uh, and that was given to me months ago through the Holy Spirit when I started receiving words. But we have got to have plenty of water because your water will be contaminated. People will lose their homes. So you're going to prepare your home for guests. Uh, you need, your, there's power outages. So you need some kind of lighting source other than electricity. There is no running water when the electricity shuts off. Brothers and sisters and those who are listening, your banking systems do not work. Transportation is hindered. Um, there will be a tsunami, but there is a cosmic event that allows that tsunami, and that is an asteroid, will hit. The phone lines will be down. Communication will be down. People will be injured, and then infectious disease comes from uh, decaying bodies, and that is just on your government website. Anybody can look that up. So as your brother and your sister, I'm speaking to you as your sister in Christ, I am telling you to be prepared. Fill empty jugs of water. Fill empty jugs. As they empty, fill them up with water. Mark the date on them. You can use that for uh, bathing or washing a dish off. Um, you need to have as much canned food on hand as possible. The Holy Spirit has told me this weekend that the 30 days that we were to prepare for was so that we would have enough to share. But it is a matter of three days, and I believe that Jesus is going to come during this three days, and I will share with that in just a moment. Okay, Sunday, January the 8th, 2017. At church, my son opened his phone, and the time was 11.11. I have seen 11.11 here recently since December the 27th enough that I started writing it down every time I saw it. And it is almost daily that I am seeing, just by chance, 11.11. It is either on a clock, or it's uh, 1.11 on my gas, how many miles I've got left, or it's on my mileage at the end of it, 1111. Um, and if you look up the significance of 1111, you will find that it is angels trying to speak. To me, it is God saying, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Every time I see it, he's reminding me, I'm coming, and it's going to be any day now. I also receive and look at uh, 222. And any time that I see a 222, whatever I was just thinking of, that is a confirmation from the Holy Spirit to say, yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. And so I've been seeing 222. And I will share with you after I went to the grocery store what happened. And I saw 222 right after that. So the Holy Spirit speaks all day long. So I'm in the grocery store after church yesterday. And the Holy Spirit said, three days of darkness will soon be. Now, brothers and sisters and those who are listening, three days of darkness. I do believe that the sun will be darkened. Three days of darkness. There's no power. There's no communication. This is a time to gather your family, your friends, um, those who cannot get to each other. You are to stay where you are. You are not to be going out and about because it will be there will be violence and your life is, is in danger. You are to stay within your home. You are to pray. You are to share food. You are to speak of Jesus and his coming to those who are in your midst. Jesus will come. Three days of darkness will soon be. You'll see and believe you are prepared. Keep your eyes on me. Pray unto me. Time is drawing near. Have no fear for my children are indeed very dear to me. With excitement. It will be for me to finally receive all who have come unto me. Continue to do the things needed. Prepare with storing water. Have water to drink. This is separate water. Can food and necessary things. And he's speaking, the Holy Spirit's speaking about light bulb, uh, you know, your lighting, whether it's coal oil lamps or, and um, he also reminds us about a heating source. So kerosene heater or blankets. Because it's only going to be a short time. Prepare for guests. Keep your car with plenty of fuel. This is now. House clean. Dishes completed. Because when this happens, it's going to happen suddenly. Laundry kept clean. Remember, three days of darkness will cover the earth. No running water. No communication. Lights and power out. Blankets you'll need. And wipes to keep clean. Pray on bend and knee. It is me you'll soon see. A visitation will be... Share what a visitation will be. You're going to see Jesus. He is going to come and look upon the world. He's already looked upon the world. 
But the verse that I read you previously said that he looks upon those who tremble at God's word. So if you are a believer and you are clean, and I'm going to continue to give you the words or I will get off track. But the Holy, the Holy Spirit is saying that Jesus is coming. He's coming. A visitation will be share what you've been able to prepare and do not despair. It says, I truly and surely come in the air. I have looked upon this world so much evil. I have seen it all. While you are small in my eyes, I have heard and seen wicked things. Prepare your homes to receive, to receive people. Prepare your hearts to be risen with your king. Darkness will be a heating source you'll need, indeed need. Come together as a family, praying unto the Father, Spirit, and Son as one. A day cometh that soon changes things. You, my dear children, are hidden and protected under my wing. Know whom you serve. I am El Shaddai, Adonai. I heard Raphael, but I, I didn't get to look it up, so I, I don't really know. But I know El Shaddai and Adonai is words that are given of God. Spiritual warfare you have surely felt. Satan has dealt, and I have had spiritual warfare in the last two months. In battles, he fights with principalities, seeing who will who will, and who he can bend. But you who stand and have stood strong have shown him who resides and abides within. No sin doeth thou hold. That means we are in a constant state of repentance. You have been bold and told him where to go. You tell Satan to get behind me, or you tell Satan to get under your feet. You just, you just, you bind him up. He has no authority in the name of Jesus. Continue to be bold. Speak great things of me, your Savior and King. Evil lurks. Be on highest alert. Do not allow news on television to divert. Keep your attention fully focused on what's at hand. What's at hand, brothers and sisters, and those listening, is that Jesus is coming. Man, evil man, plays his hand. Evil, violence, and chaos soon to be. Pray for your future leader. Things will not be easy. This is not an easy time of transition. He who currently holds the position wishes to stay in power. My children, do not be deceived. Only believe and be relieved. You have placed all your trust in me. I am your Savior, and I will redeem all who have ever called to me. All who call unto me during this time will be redeemed. So many have rejected me and cannot see. They are blinded by Satan's traps and snares. You, my children, share. Share the good news that in this time of trouble, you put your trust not in man, but your Father in heaven who sees all and knows all and shall not see one. No, not one of his children harmed. You are not alarmed. When the world seems to be turned upside down, you are not like the ones with no hope and no future, for you have not foolishly leaned upon this world to fulfill dreams, but placed all hope and trust in the risen King, Yeshua. All will come to be, you'll soon see. Those rejecting me now will be sadly left behind. Repent, not much time. Repent while you still have time. But he says a short time. Things that are planned by man will happen within days and hours. Wake up, all who are in a deep slumber. Wake up, be ye not deceived any longer. Calamity will strike with great might. But my children who have my light will all shine bright. Pray unto me without ceasing, my children. Pray more than you've ever prayed in and throughout history. I will arrive on the scene. You will be crowned priests and kings. A feast is prepared just for you. I receive you, my children, in heaven. There is great rejoicing and singing. A beautiful thing salvation is. A gift for all mankind. They only have to receive and believe in and of me. 
Ye must be washed clean. My children come unto me. Sinner cry out unto me. Sins. Yea, I said all sin is forgiven. Only one will keep you from entering into my kingdom. It is one that has many facets underneath. You must only believe. The sin that keeps you from entering into the kingdom is rejecting me, the one true king. To receive me means you are made whole, a new creator, a new creation, no longer of this system of this world. Your home is no longer here on earth. You were formed of dirt, but will be transformed to a heavenly body. No more sickness, pain, or death. You have received me, and I you. For those that believe, it is not a lighthearted thing. You love me with all your soul, mind, and body. You pour profess me before everyone and everything. You have no other gods before me. You are waiting and watching because you truly believe you'll soon see any day now your risen king. You who say you believe it comes at a cost. Salvation is free, but you who truly believe cleave unto me. You do not chase things of this world. You have rid any lust. You are purest white and glean. Yes, you shine because of the new wine. You, my children, dine. It's only a matter of a very short time. Repent and believe to receive the Father. You follow all commands of the Holy Bible. All scripture is the inspired word of God. Nothing returns void. You will be found guilty for receiving only part of my Holy Word. You perish and are evil and wicked before me. You must love me with your whole heart. It is no longer your life to live. If you have only believed part of my holy word and rarely pray and never share the good news of salvation and foolishly run after, seek after things of this world, depart from me. I never knew thee. That, that was very powerful, but the end of the word. And I did look up Isaiah chapter 57 and 1. God takes away the righteous before the evil comes. So I know that this has been a long video. I appreciate your patience. I wanted to give you all the words that I had received because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Brothers and sisters and sinners, please be ready before God. Sinner that is laughing and moffing and scoffing and making comments. Jesus is coming and you will be left behind. I plead with you, just as Jesus Christ does of Nazareth, to get on bended knee and cry out to him. But it is not a shallow repentance. It is a wholeheartedly, I will seek you, Father, until you return. I know with all my knowing and all my being that Jesus Christ is coming upon this earth. Any day, any moment, because I know in my spirit that evil things are planned. As far as this next president, elect Trump, coming into office, I do not believe that that is going to take place. I do believe that there will be an assassination attempt on his life. I have already seen that. Uh, I do know that there is bloodshed, but I do not know if that is uh, president-elect Trump or if that, because the Holy Spirit doesn't reveal all things to me. Um, I have just, no. I know that there's three days of violence and chaos and I know that there's looting and all kinds of stuff going on. Cities on fire. I do know that we're going to have a cataclysmic event uh, on the heels of this. I just don't know if the cataclysmic event happens first. But brothers and sisters, you will know when your world is not normal. You will know if you wake up and there's no power. You will know. And, and thank God that you would, you're spared. Um, you will have to watch other videos that are on this channel about it is the east coast that this asteroid is going to hit right before it is going to greatly affect new york city which will um hinder transportation and getting food and anything to the grocery stores it is a tsunami that will occur after that and this is not a small tsunami it will come inland uh with many states along the east coast and it will destroy and it will kill millions also on the west coast, California, 
that I don't know how much of the state of California I just know that California is greatly affected and then after that brothers and sisters and those who are listening there are troops military feet on the ground they are not our boys these are military feet I believe they are the United Nations I've seen blue um, helmets um, but just know that Jesus Christ comes and he takes his before what is to endure after that. I also have been told that uh, President Obama is the beast and he will do everything he can to stay in office. Whether it is declare martial law after this calamity because the Lord said that he was going to allow the calamity to strike upon the United States of America that they will see the most devastation because we have been an unrepentant nation and we have done that underneath President Obama's time in office. Uh, and you know as well as I do, you can legalize whatever you want to, but it is still sin in the eyes of God. And you must call sin what it is. The Lord does not approve of same-sex marriage. The Lord does not approve of a filthy mouth. The Lord does not approve of being drunken in body. The Lord does not approve of fornication, sleeping around and not being married. Uh, there's so many things that we could go on and on and on. The Lord is, he is full of wrath right now because United States of America not only has been blessed by his hand, his mighty hand throughout the, the years that he has allowed uh, America to prosper. But since President Obama has been in office and we are at the end of his term, no, brothers and sisters, he does not want to go anywhere. He wants to stay here in the United States. He wants to declare the martial law. Uh, FEMA camps will be put in place after this calamity. Red Cross will be used. You are not to take... Um, beware of Red Cross because there was a vision about a chip. There is something being implanted in the hand of these people that go because they did not... They didn't repent. The Lord is saying repent because things that are coming... He doesn't wish it upon anyone of his creation because whether you believe it or not... Jesus Christ exists. He created the world and the heavens above. He is in control of everything. But there comes a time that sin, you know, it's in the other videos. Sin has reached his nostrils. The filth of sin has reached his nostrils. The stench is loathsome to his nostrils is what he has said. And, you know, we abort millions of babies uh, in the name of convenience. And... Children are disobedient to parents, and parents do not take up authority and spare the rod, spoil the child. You know, there's so many things that I could go on about. And if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you know these things and how foolish we are to have believed that Jesus is not going to judge an unholy people in an unholy nation. So this calamity will strike. Jesus is allowing it to remind Obama that God, that he exists. And that he's in control. Uh, do watch around January 17th. I do not know what that is. And I'm not a date setter for any kind of return of Jesus Christ. No man knows the day or the hour. But brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit says, Awake from the slumber. You are not children of the dark. You are children of my light. And you know what season we're in. Yes, I am not drunken by anything but the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit speaks. And I know that Jesus Christ is soon to return. But the things that are going to happen after this are in the book of Revelation. And you're not going to have a, a lot of water. Somebody's going to have authority over the water. And you're going to be rationed out things for those who have not prepared for what's coming. Um, you're not to look to your government or to, to uh, first responders after this calamity. Because it's, it's going to be catastrophic for one thing. And... There will be a slow process of cleaning up. But during this cleanup, there's going to be things implemented as the one world government, your cashless society, the mark of the beast, which is um, something the Antichrist, which President Obama has been called the beast, which some people say that that is the Antichrist. I will tell you that this, this thing... This uh, RFID chip will be placed in the hand or the forehead for you to buy or sell. And without that, you do not buy or sell and you do not work. But I've also had 
the vision and the dream that you don't go back to work like we work right now. You're not in your cars like we do right now. Everything will be underneath your leader's thumb. And it is camp ran. And they do ration out your food and your water and you do what they say. Uh, I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Because some of you still do not believe even after all the warnings have been given and the lord is you know he said time is up and you know having visions of him standing in heaven because he's coming he's coming brothers and sisters he's coming talk to your family members talk to those who are lost it is time to be bold in the name of jesus and stand up and talk to them like you've not talked to them before and when they see these things start to happen when the sun is darkened when they um know about a tsunami and i don't know what areas are going to have television still available but in one word previously the holy spirit said that for three days we're going to see it non-stop on television and just think what is happening to our world when people don't have enough this is what they act like i do believe from january the 17th to january the 20th are those three days that is just me it is not saith the lord but January the 17th is what, uh, the date that the Holy Spirit gave me to be on highest alert and to be watching for things to take place. This is three days before the inauguration. Do not believe, I mean, the Holy Spirit did say, this is not going to be an easy time of transition uh, as, it, as it normally is and as it is supposed to be. It's just not going to happen. Um, I do believe that Russia is being blamed for a lot of things that they have not done and it is just one more way of pushing at putin and that was also given in a word that this administration is just pushing to see if they can start and you can laugh at this or not but world war three will take place and all it takes is one missile fired by someone but if you are a believer in jesus christ you do not have to fear. You are to know and to realize that these things are about to be. Because we are already January 9th. And it is with urgency that I speak to you. And that is what I had for you. And I don't feel the Holy Spirit. Um, he's not. I, I don't feel that he. Or I don't sense that he's telling me to share anything else. It's a lot to take in brothers and sisters. But the Lord has given watchmen on the wall. He has given handmaidens and servants. And he has poured a spirit out. And if you are left behind and for some, I know that there will be an image of the beast. You can read about it in Revelation. And you will worship and bow down to him or you will be put to death. Uh, you will have this chip inserted, which is the mark of the beast. It is his cash. It is his system. And you have to come out of that system. So I do know that those who are left behind that did not repent in time, like the Holy Spirit is saying, you are going to be on the run. Life is not going to be easy. It is going to be very tough. But there will be great revival. There will be times of sharing. And he will provide meat for you. He will provide knowledge for you that you don't have. Um, but you cannot take the mark of the beast. You cannot, you cannot become part of the system that is to be. Because that is eternal separation from Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Because he does return, those who are listening to me. He does return. But the second time he comes, because the first time he comes, it's in the air. And it's to receive his children. And that's going to happen any day now. The second time he comes, it's going to be because Israel is surrounded. And he's going to be seen by every eye. And all the evil and the wickedness of the world, they're going to run and try to hide. But there's nowhere to hide. They're going to have sores that come up on their body. Because they've taken the mark of the beast. They're part of the system. They did not separate themselves unto the holy God. Uh, I do believe in my spirit the Lord is saying that there are children that belong to him. They have called out to him. And I know some of you believe that you can't be backslidden, that, that God's arm is not too short to pull you back. It's not too short. His arm is lengthened to jerk you from sin and to save you and to wash you clean. But the Holy Spirit is speaking right now. And he says that if you think that sin enters into his kingdom, you are wrong. 
It is a repentance unto salvation. The gift is free, but it comes at a cost. And it comes at a cost of you laying down your life and be pleasing unto the Father. It is doing things that He has asked you to do through His Holy Scriptures. It is reading and knowing about Him. Hallelujah. The Lord speaks and He speaks and He's saying, I am coming. I am coming in the air. I am coming on the clouds. All of mine who have called upon my name, they are saved. They are ready to go. Their robes are washed and made clean. But to those unbelieving upon this earth, you have been deceived by the ultimate deceiver, which is Satan. He desires to rule and reign. And he does it through mortal bodies, through those that have no power in my name. Jesus is speaking. He is saying that he gives you power to call things as though they not be. Praise God. You lay your hands upon the sick and they shall be healed. You are not to go out, brothers and sisters. This is a warning from the Lord. You are not to go out and seek alternative help after this calamity. This is a short time that we will suffer. You are not to give in to this, this system that will be set up because it is a trap and a snare from Satan. Principalities. We war against. In the darkness, it shall be. Wickedness and evil, demonic spirits will be. I hope you are listening because this is not written down. This is coming to me in the Holy Spirit. And he is speaking and saying that no matter what, no matter how bad things get, if you are a believer and you have called up in the name of, you have called upon the name of Yeshua, you stand firm and you stand firm in your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ because your Redeemer is at the door and he will redeem you. But he is gathering his children from all over the world that have ever called upon his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father God. We just give you glory and honor right now. And praise your name, Jesus, that you give us unction through the Holy Spirit. And he's saying right now that he's going to speak to all of his children. You're not going to have to worry about if you've not heard his voice. He is going to speak to you. You are going to be silent before him. And you are to pray. And as you pray unto him, he will lead and guide you as to what the next step is to be. Whether you are to go out of your house, whether you are to stay in your house, whether you are to turn right or turn left, that is what you have to do. You call upon the name of Jesus and you get repentant before the Lord because he's coming. Jesus Christ is coming. And sinner, I pray that none of you are left. I pray that all of you would repent and fall upon your knees and cry out and call upon the name of Jesus. But we know that wickedness still abounds. And that Satan has some of you so deceived that you think that I'm some lunatic. But it doesn't matter because I know where I will be. I am trying my best to warn you as a sister that believes in Jesus Christ with all my heart, all my soul, all my body. It is no longer my life that I live. It is Jesus Christ and I live to please him every day. I don't look to man for anything. I don't look to government for anything. I don't put my trust and my faith in government and neither shall you. But if you have done that and you are part of this world, you are not part of the heavenly world. And that is who he's coming to get. He's coming to get those that are ready to go home. And he's going to save us from the things that are about to come up on the world. And we have not seen the wickedness that will be. You have not seen the evilness that will be. You have not seen the way people act when they do not have the ability to do what they want to do. Now, I believe that this chip that's going to be inserted changes somehow. There's some kind of chemical something in it. No, it. It's not only a tracking device to keep up with you, but it's also something that changes the DNA of your system. It is no longer, uh, it's like a virus is going to go out through your body. And that is just me speaking, but I'm telling you right now, that when you take the mark of the beast, there is no return from that. And the Holy Spirit, I hope I had already said it, said that we were at a, t a place of no return for the United States of America. That things are planned and people still uh, continue to be unholy and uh, unrighteous before a holy God. And that just cannot be. So brothers and sisters, I will close with a prayer. 
I thank you for sticking with me this long. Uh, it is the Holy Spirit that speaks and warns. And I'm just a vessel that he's been able to use. So, Father God, we just thank you for the word that's come about. And, Father, I just pray over every listener and every hearer, Father. Father, I pray that you spare the wicked. And I know that some are going to die, Father. And I know that that sorrow, that makes you very sorrowful. Uh, because once they die in their sin, there is no repentance. There is no returning from that. They are, eter they are eternally separated from ever being able to be and ask forgiveness of you and to be with you. And Father, I just thank you and I ask you to bless each and every person within the sound of my voice, Father. Bless your saints, Father, I ask, I pray, Lord, that you give us guidance and that we humbly seek you and that we continue to pray on bended knee to you, Father. Father, I know that you have said in my spirit many times that if we knew what was coming about, that we would pray without ceasing on bended knee, that we would truly cry out to you, Lord Jesus. And Father, I know that there are things that are coming up on this earth that are just unfathomable to our imagination, Father, that there are wicked and demonic spirits that will be, that people will be tortured and tormented, that the sun will give out radiant heat and father that people will be thirsty and there will not be enough water because there will be a drought father i know that you're saying that there will not be food enough food to go around people will be hungry father and father i just feel your presence and i thank you jesus i thank you jesus for your mighty hand upon your children father i thank you father that you have looked upon this humble servant to bring your word and your message to others father that are lost and undone and Father, I just pray that even one person be saved today, Father. One person, Father, who has listened and listened to the message, Lord, that they realize that you love them and that there's nothing that they have done as long as they have air and breath in their body, Father. They still have time to call out unto you. And the Lord is saying, call out to me right now, sinner. Call out to me and you will be redeemed. But it is a changing of your ways and you do repent and you ask for forgiveness of every sin. And the Father God says that I will wrap my arms around you. I will fill you with my spirit and you will be made whole and you will be redeemed with those who have believed. Even if you believe in the last minute, you are redeemed. You must have a sincerity and cry out before the almighty God. And that is what he has just spoke. That it is not too late. As long as you can say it out of your mouth. Cry out to him. Abba Father. That's who he wants to be to all of us. Abba Father. He wants you to call out to him and ask forgiveness. And Father I just thank you. I thank you for your comfort and your peace. And I thank you Lord. And right now the Holy Spirit is saying. To anoint your property. Anoint your doorpost. Just as the Israelites were told and instructed. Because the evil and the wickedness that will come upon this world for these three days, uh, it's almost like Satan is being cast out of heaven. That is what I've heard in my spirit. Satan is being cast out of heaven. It is no longer uh, the angel, the archangel Michael that holds him back. But he will be released. And even though that people are evil now and wicked, there will be uh, a higher wickedness and evilness that will lurk. Brothers and sisters, right now the Holy Spirit says that after or during this time, you are to stay within your homes. You are to anoint your property. You are to anoint your property. You are to pray over your family right now. Anoint your body. Take, take oil right now, vegetable oil, and pray over it. And you anoint each person in your home. You pray for their safety going to and from the homes. In the name of Jesus. And you pray for your property. So that calamity and destruction. Do not come upon your property. I do know that the Lord is saying. That uh, there will be his children. There, there are some that are his bride. That as the tide rises. So do they. So you are not to fear. If you're in California and you're a believer. Uh, and that's a severe earthquake. And you are not to fear. If you are on the east coast. And you are already under God's wing of protection you are not to fear that you are lifted up in in an instant you are lifted up and I, I just I'm trying to make sure that the Holy Spirit's not saying anything else and I know the video has been long but it is so vitally important that we are ready and repentant before an almighty God because he is coming 
and we only have but a few days. He says, it is but hours away. So I thank you, brothers and sisters, for listening. And Father, we just pray in your holy name. And we give you all the glory and the honor and the power. And everybody said, Amen and Amen.